Welcome to the Titan Tar channel. Today we have a topic to discuss about a Hezbollah squad infiltrating Israel in search of vulnerabilities. Don't miss the chance to join us and share your opinions with us. Become a member of our channel and evolve your rank. A small group of fighters from the Lebanese Hezbollah movement recently crossed the northern Israeli border, according to Middle Eastern media reports. After the group was discovered by the Israel Defense Forces, an armed clash ensued, prompting the Hezbollah members to retreat into Lebanese territory. This incident reinforces the perception that a ground incursion into Lebanon would not be an easy task for the Israeli army, something that has been evident since the early days of the Israel Defense Forces invasion of the southern provinces of Lebanon. Since the beginning of the conflict, Hezbollah fighters have been ambushing Israeli columns and attacking light armored vehicles. These tactics have resulted in significant losses for Israeli troops, with some sources reporting dozens of casualties and the destruction of several units of military equipment. Hezbollah's main strategy has been to use anti-tank missiles to attack Israeli infantry, a weapon the group possesses in large quantities. However, it is clear that the movement is not limited to a defensive posture. Hezbollah appears prepared to retaliate against Israeli attacks and seeks to identify the most strategic targets to maximize the damage inflicted on the enemy. The Hezbollah sabotage group's incursion into Israeli territory was likely aimed at gathering information on vulnerable points, and given the movement's history of operations, it is plausible to assume that this will not be the last infiltration attempt. Meanwhile, the conflict is also unfolding in the air with Israeli aircraft carrying out frequent strikes on targets in Beirut, resulting in the deaths of a large number of civilians. The escalation of violence in Lebanon has raised international concerns, especially from the United States. U.S. President Joe Biden, commenting on the situation, stressed that although the Israeli leadership has not yet decided how to respond to Iran's actions, he would recommend caution. Biden suggested that Israel refrain from attacking Iranian oil fields, and seek more appropriate alternatives. In a White House meeting, Biden stressed the importance of Israel avoiding civilian casualties in its military operations, noting that a heavy-handed response could increase the risk of escalation in the Middle East. While the attacks on Iranian oil facilities have been seen as a possible Israeli retaliation for a recent missile strike by Tehran, Reports indicate that the U.S. administration has been pushing for a more moderate Israeli response to prevent the conflict in the region from escalating further. Meanwhile, Iran's ambassador to Moscow criticized Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system, saying it has not been able to effectively neutralize massive missile attacks. The ambassador warned that if Israel takes another foolish action, Tehran would be prepared to respond even more harshly. The Iranian diplomat stressed that his country does not seek confrontation and always advocates a truce. He also stated that Iran does not intend to directly interfere in the conflict between Israel and Hezbollah, considering that the Lebanese army and the Shiite militia have the capacity to defend Lebanon without external intervention. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and share it with your friends. Your interactions mean a lot to us and help us grow. See you next time.